Our top news this week, Japan's premier trade show Interbee is happening this week and Sony are debuting an exciting new prototype monitor. At Interbee 2019, Sony unveiled a prototype of their upcoming 24-inch 4K HDR production monitor ahead of its official launch. Full specifications and pricing details are set to be revealed at a later date, however Sony have said that the monitor will support 4K UHD resolution with a 1000 nits brightness. The monitor will also have a wide viewing angle, a 12G SDI input, as well as an HDMI connection giving post-production users greater flexibility. Also at Interbee, Atomos released the long-awaited and highly anticipated Switching 2.0 update for their Sumo 19 production monitor recorder. Atomos 9.2 update enables asynchronous live switching and recording of four ISO streams in full HD in either ProRes or Avid DNX. This can now be done without syncing all sources with Genlock, which was a requirement in the previous firmware update. The new firmware update greatly simplifies multi-camera workflows and is perfect for low-budget event coverage. Wooden Camera have launched their official accessory kits for the new Canon C500 Mark II camera. The kits are available in three versions, starting from Base to Advanced and Pro. Each kit includes a top plate and a C500 Mark II unified base plate, while the Advanced kit also adds on a NATO Handle Plus version 2, while the Pro kit comes loaded with the new Wooden Camera Universal Viewfinder Mount version 2 for attaching either Canon's included LCD unit or an external EVF, in addition to a battery slide for attaching a V-mount or gold mount battery plate. And finally on Tuesday, we ran a packed Sony FX9 open day where our customers had a chance to try out this exciting new camera for themselves. From the reaction of the people who attended, this is going to be a very popular camera, so if you're interested, give our sales team a call or email us using the contact details below. And this is it for this week. We will be back next week with more news in 90 seconds.